Howdy, howdy, guys. <clears throat> Welcome back to Cruise Man's Inventions. So today I'm going to be showing you on my rear uh, kitchen speakers. These are the rear ones. They're not the front ones, but they're the rear ones. So uh, these are the boxes that I've been building over the last couple of days. If you've been wondering what I've been up to, and uh, man, are they smooth. I chopped all the holes out for the horn tweeters. The mid bay, uh, well, the mid range, I should say, uh, which will run off 6.8 UF at 50V capacitors, and the tweeter horn will be running off 2.2 uh, at 50V UF, you know, 2.2 UF at 50V. So the bottom here will be running these passive radiators that I've been building. They have no backs to them, I chopped them out. So I'm going to build a grill in here out of some mesh that I have. It's kind of like this stuff here. And uh, at the back, I'm going to put just a little bit of uh, duvet in there and stuff just to cushion the muffle. Now, what's going underneath, <clears throat> as you can see under here, is uh, a big 8 inch hole. And that's not the one that's going in. I was nearly ready to put that bad boy in. But, that's a Sony saw. But we're going to go with something else. This one here. And that's magnetically shielded at about 200 watts. That one, at 6 ohms. And this one here. Well, that's a, uh, a touch lamp dome. Being painted up. High gloss black. And being shaped up to put in there to make it look like a bigger dome so it's a really cool effect and these here are my front kitchen speakers as you can see we're not using the base as the overall big you know front of these speakers we're using the the mid horn which yes they are uh, lampshade lampshades that you can get from Mitre 10 or, you know, different outlets. If I could have got copper ones, I would have went with that. But So the idea of this, which I'll show you a little bit more about this, actually. So this is this is a very nice pan of black and uh, very shiny, as you can see. Immaculate condition. I have two of them, left and right. And uh, we're running Technics mid-range, two-inch coils in here you can't really see the coils but um oh we have light there we go you can see the outline it's two inches big that coil that's in there and it's technics technics mid-range that's behind that and man is it beautiful you know you're listening to guitars and stuff like that beautiful and down here we got a uh well, it's actually a piezo tweeter. It's a horn tweeter, but it looks like a dome tweeter, right? It's actually four inches across. It's huge. Well, the, the outside diameter, but the inside diameter is one inch, and it's a 400-watt piezo tweeter. Now, horn tweeter, taken out of the horn and put behind this dome. Okay, so... Um, it gives out the effects more high fidelity than any other dome tweeter you can buy on the market. It's Motorola, it's 400 watts, and it comes inside a horn. You can pull it out, and none of these speakers, by the way, this is the base underneath here. I'm running a uh, Sony Saw. They come out of subwoofers. They cost me 150 each. They are roughly about 120 watts each. Uh, I got them well over 10 years ago. Um, this is the magnet size of them. They they were originally yellow, which you can see down there. Yellow, but I, I did paint the front black. And that's that's this 20 ohm, uh, 20 OZ magnets with a, with a hole, actually. That's weird, eh? That's where the hole starts. <laughs> Small hole in the middle. So that's what's underneath uh, those speakers here, right? So you could imagine how these are going to look. Now let's look into the, the speakers that are going in here. I had some speakers that 
Well, long, long time ago, back in the 80s, late 80s, me and my dad went to this shop that doesn't exist anymore, and we got these, this, well, he bought the stereo. This was right at the bottom. It's a Sony Sat Square speaker, and I'm going to use this as a mid-range. I'm going to run this off some uh, capacitors I got in here, in this bag, which uh, I ordered up on AliExpress, 6.8. UF for the mid range uh, at 50V, and um, yeah, like I said before, 2.2. Uh, I've got a 2.2 over here for the tweeters. Now, the tweeters that I'm going to be using for this also are um, <coughs> a piezo design, but they're only 175, and uh, I'm actually going to put a, a crossover on these. Uh, yeah, 2.2, and then uh, they're going to fit into here, up, oops, sorry, up here, and, uh, and then I'm going to put a, a Technos housing around, it came out of a, another speaker, so I'm going to put a Technos housing around, hiding a bit of the roughness of that, so it should all match into place, and as well as a grill on here to protect those. So, and then a 6 for 9 down here, but I haven't finished this, right, should look pretty cool. I've got to finish the front, finish the colour on the front, and then this here is going to be down firing under here. Those are magnetically shielded, they're pretty huge, as you can see. They're not, they don't seem to pump as deep as what these are, these are Sony saws. They actually pump really deep, so I'm going to put those back in my kitchen set. They're really beautiful. Hard to match a sub with these, because they're already sub -authors. So, uh, like I said, these don't run crossovers, because the piezos, you don't need... You don't really need crossovers with the piezo tweeters. These are moving pistons at 2 inch big in here, so they don't, you know... It all runs off the same power. And at the same time, these are pumping and nothing. Everything I put through these is just beautiful. So, getting towards this, yeah, and then the uh, those down firing. I've got some feet down here, which I'm going to screw into the bottom of these cabinets, keeping it about ooh, one and a half inches off the ground. So, yeah, so in part two, I'll show you this cabinet all painted and a little bit more altogether, like this one is. So, let's put the camera over here very quickly. Because I want to quickly turn this speaker over here upside down so I can show you a little bit more about the kitchen speaker design, guys. Alright, okay. Okay. Okay, here we go. So, down on the bottom, because they're down firing subs, it was this wolfer, right? And so, when you look in here, the whole cabinet is split in half. There's the plumbing. That's the port here. But it goes down into the second chamber. This port over here, because the cabinet split into two. You can't really see that from the camera view, but that's only halfway down. It's only there. There's two chambers. So when this wolfer pumps, it pumps down through the hole, goes up into the second chamber, from the second chamber it comes up and out through this port, up and out here, which is much smoother, as you can see all of this is carpeted in there, adds to a very very smooth sound, so if I pop this in here, and I just tapped it, Pretty cool, huh? It's really deep. It's actually deeper than those ones there, even though they look bigger. But it's, 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 yeah. These actually run better. I had the red ones in here. I just tried them out, and they weren't as good as these. They were all rubber surround, they're really big. And not even these ones, even though they're 200 watts of big, even in the baffles. 
all that stuff. Not quite as big, but they, they're raw, these things. So I'm going to keep them for the back here. And uh, so anyways, guys, that's what that entails. And I love these speakers. Here's the crisscross pattern that fits up into the back here. And it just fits up in there beautifully. Slots in. It goes in with four screws. Countersunk. And you flip it up and it's just beautiful, man. Beautiful set. So Technics mid-range, Motorola 400 watt tweeter, and uh, Sony saw 150 watt or 25 watt base, sub base. So yeah, no crossovers needed, guys, with that. So anyways, that's a little update of what I've been up to, guys. Oh, we're well over my mark. All right, <laughs> awesome, guys. I shall see you in the next video. I made this video because it's going to take me a little while to do these. And it's been raining here, hardcore, winds blowing up a storm. So uh, I thought an inside uh, job would be cool. So awesome, guys. See you in the update of part two. So, cool, cool. Cruiser man out. <laughs>